up guys, welcome back. Today we're taking that boring chicken breast from your freezer and turning it into this. I'll be showing you my recipe for Cajun stuffed chicken breast. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, we're getting the party started with the Cajun Trinity and this beautiful andouille sausage. Andouille sausage is super common in Cajun and Creole cuisine. It's got a little bit of smokiness, a little spice, and absolutely packed with flavor. We're going to chop this up into bite-sized pieces like you see me doing right here. We're only going to need about six ounces of this, so you can save the other half for your omelets or whatever you want to do with it. It's delicious in tons of recipes. You can use it for jambalaya, gumbo, things like that. But today we're making stuffed chicken with it. So we're gonna chop up about six ounces of that along with the bell pepper, celery, onion, and a jalapeno. In a skillet over medium heat, we're going in with some avocado oil or whatever vegetable oil you prefer to use. And we're gonna brown up that andouille sausage. We're going in with the sausage first because we want the sausage to release some of that fat and flavor into the skillet, which is gonna be the foundation of flavor for the rest of our recipe here today. So go ahead and move that around, make sure it's cooking evenly, browning up nicely, three or four minutes, and then we're going in with those veggies. Again, the Cajun Trinity is a mixture of bell, pepper, onion, and celery. We're adding the jalapeno in there just for a little bit of spice. That's totally optional, guys. If you don't like spice, you can leave the jalapeno out. Going in with one teaspoon of garlic paste. You can use fresh garlic or minced garlic for this as well. Give that a good mix. Make sure everything's coming together. Make sure all those ingredients in there know each other's business. Once the onions and peppers cook down and get nice and tender, you can remove it from the heat. Into a mixing bowl, we're going in with eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese, and then we're going in with the sausage and the peppers and onions that we just cooked. The residual heat from those veggies is gonna help that cream cheese melt nicely. Next, we're going in with one fourth cup of sour cream, some shredded mozzarella and some shredded Parmesan. As always, guys, specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. Going in with a little Tony's, you can use whatever Cajun or Creole seasoning you like. And of course, we gotta hit it with that AP. That's my all-purpose season. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link in the description box. Also going in with some smoked paprika. Really guys, you can use whatever seasoning you like. Give that a good mix. Make sure all the ingredients are well combined. You can taste this as you go and adjust the seasoning to your preference. If it's a little too spicy for you, you can add a little more sour cream or cream cheese to balance things out. If it's not spicy enough, obviously you can add some cayenne pepper, some red pepper flakes, a little more jalapeno. Really, you can customize this to your preference. Just get in there and make sure everything is well mixed. We're gonna give it a good taste test just to make sure everything's coming together nicely. And damn it is. Next, we're working on these chicken breasts. Here we have two boneless, skinless, eight ounce chicken breasts that we are going to stuff. So you wanna carefully put your hand on top and then take a sharp knife and just make a pocket in the chicken breast. So as you see me doing right here, cutting into the side, using your fingers as a guide. Keep your fingers away from the blade, obviously, but we're just creating a pocket for our stuffing to fit in. Nice and easy. This recipe is a lot easier than it looks, guys. As you can see here, you just make your little pocket here, season up the chicken breast, and then we're gonna stuff it with the stuffing that we made earlier. Dow Strong Knife is making easy work of the chicken breast. We're gonna season this up with the all-purpose seasoning. I have a discount link for you guys in the description box and in the pinned comment. It's just a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, a couple other spices. You can use whatever seasoning you like on chicken. We're also going down with some Tony's Creole seasoning. Give that a good coat. You wanna season this evenly, guys. There we go. Pressure season it in. Flip the chicken over and show the other side the same love and affection. All-purpose seasoning, Tony's Creole seasoning. And then we're going down with just a light coating of chili powder. That's gonna give it that nice dark color that we're looking for. Basically making blackened chicken. Say it with me, guys, looking good. That's a well-seasoned piece of chicken right there, my friends. Then you wanna take a spoon and stuff the chicken breast. Don't overstuff it. Just make sure that pocket is nice and full like we're about to be after we eat this meal. You wanna go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees because we're gonna sear the chicken and finish it in the oven. I like to use a cast iron skillet for this, but you can use whatever oven safe skillet you got. Heat it over medium high heat, add a little vegetable oil or avocado oil, and then place your chicken breast in there gently, making sure the stuffing stays intact. We're gonna cook it for about 60 seconds per side or until it's beautifully golden brown like so. 
and then carefully flip it over. I like to position the stuffed chicken so that the stuffing is facing the wall of the skillet. That'll prevent the stuffing from leaking out because it doesn't have anywhere to go when it goes in the oven. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter to the party and baste these babies, cause why the hell not? And then we're gonna pop it in that 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until the chicken breast is 165 degrees internal temperature. And surprise, surprise guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make bacon Brussels sprouts, which happens to be my favorite side dish when it comes to vegetables. This full recipe is perfect for my keto and low carb friends. So we're gonna cut the stems off of the Brussels sprouts and then slice them right in half like you see right here. Make sure your Brussels sprouts are nice and clean when you get them home from the store. Don't throw away those shavings. As you can see, some of the shavings are coming off the Brussels sprouts during this process. We're gonna set those aside and we're gonna add those towards the end of the cooking time. You wanna go into the skillet first with four to five pieces of thick cut bacon. If you don't eat pork, you can use beef bacon for this. If you don't eat beef, then just don't use the bacon at all because turkey bacon is not gonna work for this because it just doesn't have enough fat in it. You can just use a little extra butter. At this point, you wanna kill the heat and then add in your Brussels sprouts because if they're a little damp, that water will hit that bacon grease and splatter on you and you don't, I don't want you guys to burn yourself. So kill the heat when you add the Brussels sprouts, then you can turn the heat back on on medium. We wanna brown them up nicely, get a nice char on there, nice golden brown color like you see right there. That's a perfect Brussels sprout. Got to hit with that AP seasoning or just a little salt and pepper, guys. Use whatever seasoning you like on your veggies if you don't have the all-purpose seasoning. And then once they're all nice and golden brown, we're going to get in there with our wooden spoon. Toss them around a little bit in that bacon fat. Chop up the bacon, add that back to the party. Then we're going in with one packet of sassone. And then we're also going in with two tablespoons of butter. You wanna cook these until they're nice and tender, guys. Once you get them nice and seasoned, we're gonna cover them with some foil or a lid, turn the heat to low, and just let them steam. Towards the end, as you can see here, we're going in with those shavings. You wanna to season to taste. It's important to taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. But Brussels sprouts are super healthy. Even with the bacon, my keto folks will agree. Just make sure they're nicely coated in all that deliciousness. And then once they get nice and tender, they're done. Cover them with some foil, let them steam away for about 15 to 20 minutes until they get nice and tender. And then we're gonna plate this up. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Look at that beautiful stuffed chicken breast. Hit it with a little fresh chopped parsley for a pop of color. And all I need is a knife and a fork because I'm going in for a taste test. Perfectly cooked chicken breast. Got to get a piece of that stuff in. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, man. This one's on the money and it's low carb and keto friendly. Definitely a fork drop recipe. If you like the recipe, give your boy a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.